a incredible honor to have you guys here with me. Hey, look, there's Jason Muse in uh, Orlando Bloom. I don't know who any of the rest are. I uh, I just wanted to show you guys. I recent, I just in the last few hours redid my uh, desk. I got a, uh, I got rid a rid. I got rid of a bunch of the bottles of alcohol I had. Decided to move some of the uh, cool, uh, nerdy stuff. Pretty much just the Marvel stuff in one Star Trek thing. Uh, on there instead. Now, uh, maybe if I have more things that feel um, like they are attractive enough, you know, on the desk... A part of the reason why I keep the alcohol bottles is because they just... It's not because I have a passion for alcohol, which, you know, I do. Uh, it's because the bottles reflect the light. Which end up making it look just so much cooler than, you know... Some Marvel characters, with the exception of maybe Phoenix, because... She's semi-translucent. Uh, but I have some characters at the other house. I have a bunch of stuff at the other house that I never brought over. Um, that I think might look cool, uh, or would at least add to it. Um, so I took a bunch of stuff out of there. Let me go ahead and turn that light on. Alright, I have the light on. Now I just need to get it to turn white. Come on. There we go. Alright, so... I moved a bunch of things around in there. Like the, for example, E.T. the Extraterrestrial, new in box. Well, I guess it's not new, huh? But in the box, uh, wrapped and sealed still. I accidentally knocked over the Pog collection, at least a small part of it. But the big thing is, I added all of my Game Pros, Electronic Gaming Monthlies, and Tips and Tricks uh, that I have. Most of them. Most of those are actually still in the original plastic bags that they came in. Those up there, that is called Net Pro. That was a magazine that was uh, sold. I have a few of them that was sold for a short time when Game Pro first came out, and at the I get near the infant stage of uh, of the internet. I see that some of my Marvel cards may have gotten damaged when I was opening when I was opening the uh, damn it dude I can't stand that. It's I got the world's worst freaking duct tape. I duct tape all of those to the back of the board. But, dude, it falls off. This duct tape can't even hold comic comic books, let alone, apparently, comic book card pages. How annoying is that to know that some of your cards from the early 90s are probably bent and destroyed because of some shitty-ass duct tape? Anyways, I don't even remember what else I was going to say. But uh, that Game Pro right there has autographs from uh, the entire publication of the magazine. Uh, I have a bunch of press releases and unreleased magazines uh, that were never released. Unreleased covers, I mean, sorry. And uh, the press release media info. Uh, I think I still have that in a drawer so in my room. Uh... I kind of moved a few things around, like the Atari hat and some of the uh, snow globes. I added some things, such as the uh, Game Boy Pocket with magnification glass there. Uh, added a couple more mags to the top of that stack. Uh, moved the OG uh, football game. electronic football moved the PSP and flipped it over so it says PSP 
you know, just in case those people who didn't recognize that it was a PSP. But, you know what, that's one of my big prizes right there, man. One of the big pieces of my collection is the uh, half-smushed Atari uh, ET game. No, I don't have a COT, or sorry, COA, but uh, I still have plenty of faith in its uh, legitimacy. Uh, especially because uh, when you, eat, all you really gotta do is look at the uh, saran wrap or the uh, wrapping that they use on it, and you can tell if it's brittle. If it's brittle and slightly yellowed, it's probably legitimate. Now, I know that most of these games ended up in a landfill. I can't, pr I can't for sure tell you in any way that this is one of those that were in the landfill, uh, especially because it still has its plastic wrapping on it. I would assume that it probably would have been eroded or so brittle that it just flaked away by now. So probably not. But uh, you know what? I like to I like to imagine that maybe it was. I should have moved that up, but I don't think it would have fit on the second shelf. The, I'm talking about the uh, the uh, snow globe there. Yeah, I don't really have anything else to show right now, to be honest with you. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure I'll improve upon it all, or add to it, or yada yada yada. All the nerdy shit I own could literally fit in this display cabinet. I just make it look like a lot more than what it is. Pretty much everything that makes me... Yeah, whatever. Anyways, welcome to the first clip of the week. Thank you for watching and see... I'm working on my truck. I removed all of that on both sides. A uh, whole bunch of stuff, actually. <laughs> Done a lot of work for the last three days. My brother is uh, helping me remove a bolt that... Uh, won't come off no matter what we do and the pin is jammed in there so he couldn't pull it out. Let me get the lift the crowbar out. Uh, oh I left it in the car. Nope, here it is. Here you go. What's up, Gabe? What's up, Gamer? No. Got anything to say to your uh, your fan base? No. Aww. Oh. You usually always have something funny to say. Oh, okay. Um, it's going about to be my dad's birthday, and well, that's right, it is. And then it's gonna be mine. I'm turning eleven. Yep. 11 going on 20. And what are you doing over there, Titan? What'd you get? Hey! What's he got in his mouth? Oh, it's a dog bone. Eee, that dog bone's old. Come on, Gabe. Don't be a jerk. I'm getting worn out on putting up with you being rude to my dog, man. <laughs> 